Hey everyone, welcome back to another one of my YouTube training videos. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm joined by Danny Nisani, who is a Zoho consultant, and we're going to be talking about Zoho versus uh, Pipedrive. Uh, Danny, thanks for joining me today. Thank you, Paul. Nice, yeah. to, nice to meet you. Ironically, I was looking for a Zoho expert to talk to, and if anyone in the world I could connect with, I found Danny, who lives five minutes down the road from me. <laughs> <laughs> And we're so, still meeting online, yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> How boring are we? Yeah. Um, so before we get into it, do you want to just tell people a little bit about um, what you do and your experience with Zoho? Uh, sure. Well, I'm a originally SAP consultant, been working with SAP since uh, 15 years ago. And then about six years after I started working with SAP, I... Um, look for another solution that would be easier to implement for, I would say, smaller businesses. Yeah. Found Zoho, fell in love with the solution, and ever since implementing Zoho, and still doing a little bit of SAP work, not so much in New Zealand. Okay, great. Well, um, for anyone that hasn't heard of Zoho before, can you b briefly describe it? So, I'll, well, I'll talk about Pipedrive first, um, mm. just so that people know kind of what it does. Pipedrive is very much, uh, they focus on the CRM part of your sales process. So right from when you get a new lead in your sales sales cycle to converting that lead, you know, having meetings, sending proposals, whatever it is that you do, right up until when you close the deal, that's the process that Pipedrive is helping you with. It does have some automation tools and email capability built in, but their uh, focus really is on making a really great CRM sales experience for, for sales teams. Um, I'll talk about some of the limitations about what it, can't do later, but um, Danny, do you want to comment and just give people a bit of an overview of what Zoho does? Because I know it's, it is a CRM, but there's a lot more that it does as well. Mm. So of course, Zoho CRM would do the CRM part, quite similar to what you just described. In addition, it would have packages that would do the service for customers. That would also include like a self portal for customers that would include a chat in your website. So you can chat with the people that are browsing your website and monitor um, you know, how they operate in your website. Yeah. That would also include a reporting tool and that would also include a marketing tool. Uh, so you can start sending newsletters to your customers and then follow up on those, um, on those uh, newsletters, etc. And in general, I mean, there is Zoho CRM and then there is Zoho One, which is like a whole suite of application for the business. All of those applications are integrated one with the other. So you can do certain operation in a certain part of Zoho and then and then you would see like right. the other on influx in the Zoho CRM. So yeah, that, that would So things like project management, for example, it can do. That's correct. Yeah. 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 So what would you say then if you had to describe the number one point of difference that Zoho has from Pipedrive or Salesforce or any other CRM, what is the number one thing that you think makes it stand out? Well it is a bit uh, I think a complicated compare like Pipe Pipe Drive and Salesforce. Uh, I think it is quite similar actually to Salesforce, um, but I think probably the main difference is the uh, the whole of the package. Yeah, there are so many solutions that are integrated, and I would probably think the best way to define Zoho is like maximum capabilities for minimum investment. So once right. we will discuss the price, you would see really like how cheap the price is or how cost effective the price is. Okay. Yeah, and to talk about the Pipedrive side, I think the number one thing that sets Pipedrive apart is its simplicity. What probably attracts people to it is if they don't want, um, I know there's Salesforce, for example, people have maybe have come from the Salesforce world, it's very complicated, quite tricky to use. And, mm -hmm. and Danny, I'm sure you've seen this, like getting a sales team to adopt and actually use the tool is half the challenge. And mm -hmm. that's what attracts people to Pipedrive is it's just very simple, very easy to set up and easy to use. Um, so yes. let's then flip that on its head. Mm. Um, I don't mind. I'll start. Maybe let's talk about the disadvantages then. And so, yes, Pipedrive is a very simple tool, very easy to use. However, if you want to do some of these other things like Danny's talking about, like email marketing or project management, that's where you sometimes need to connect Pipedrive with third party tools. So, for example, I've, I've actually done a video on this about how I connect Pipedrive with um, Asana, for example. So if you want an all in one solution that does everything, Zoho is a great option. But if you don't want to be tied to that ecosystem or you want to use a different project management system, you can use something like Pipedrive and Asana. But the disadvantage is you have to sort of build that link yourself. So there's pros and cons. Of of doing it each way, whether you go with a all-in-one system or you integrate the two, I guess if you don't want to have to worry about integrating things, Pipedrive, um, there are some limitations there. Um, so that's what I think would be some limitations on the Pipedrive side. Danny, what do you think about Zoho? 
Uh, it has some limitations, though also, I mean, uh, well, speaking of New Zealand, it has some limitation regarding uh, uh, fitting to like New Zealand accounting system. It has also an accounting product. It has a bit of limit. I think like pretty much in Zoho, the um, ERP side of the applications are still not like that fully developed, especially in the terms of accounting. Yeah. That's a bit complicated and like still needs a bit, a bit more of development to be added to. Uh, I think also quite different from pipeline actually that in pipeline you can handle like different stages for like, uh, you know, you've got certain, certain types of deals. So you would put one, one like stages for like a certain deal and then you can have a different stage for a different deal. Yeah. I noticed actually that in Zoe you only have like a one type of uh, stages. So I think that probably like uh, something different Zoho. Oh, I see. Pipeline. Yeah. So let's talk about the pricing then. Um, and yeah, to kick off on the pipe drive side, it's fairly straightforward. So for the CRM, you can sign up to either silver, gold, or platinum. So silver, I think, is twelve US dollars per user per month. Um, gold, you get a few more extra features like the email sync, and you get automation. And I think that's twenty-five dollars per user per month. And then platinum, you get more advanced reports and forecasting. And I think that's around seventy dollars per month. Um, you can pay annually and get a discount, of course. Um, so yeah, the, the pricing is fairly straightforward. Um, the slight disadvantage with the pricing is you can't currently, you can't have like a manager on platinum and someone on admin on silver. You, everyone in the business has to be on the same level. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, it's a very affordable way um, to get started if you just want a simple CRM. Uh, so Danny, yeah, tell us, uh, tell us about Zoho pricing. Mm. So I mean, it's a bit complicated to just give the pricing of all Zoho because they have like to different applications so let's focus on the CRM yeah but so on the CRM there are like uh, three editions standard uh, enter uh, sorry standard professional and enterprise standard is twelve dollars per user professional is twenty dollars per user and enterprise is uh, thirty five dollars per user these are pricing again for like uh, yearly plan something quite important actually with Zo even if you are committed to the whole year and you would cancel your subscription, let's say like three months after you start using it, you would get a full refund to your card after nine months. I think right. many people know that. And then there is a very new and exciting product that Zoho launched at the end of last year, which is called Zoho One. That product, if you pay $30 per user, um, again, paying on an annual basis, you would get 40 different Zoho applications, which is quite uh, uh, Unbelievable to be honest. In the Zoho website, it just they just say like pinch yourself. <laughs> the only obligation if you are using that uh, licensing program, it means that all of the users in the organizations need to be signed up into that uh, solution. One of the largest customers here in New Zealand is the warehouse, quite familiar. So they're using the Zoho one. I don't think they paid though the thirty dollars per user because they got like eight thousand employees. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So you can get, if you like a huge organization, you would get the best deals. For, yeah. For and so who would you then say is like the ideal mm. customer? Like, is it better for sort of medium, larger businesses, small business? Like what is a good a, ideal customer for, for mm. Zoho? I think uh, like it's starting from very small, even like a one user business, still uh, like a very large, uh, you, know, you know, hundreds of users. I mean, probably to like 250 users, although our largest customer got 450 users is a call center. Yeah. Uh, but I do think that the customer still needs to pay for consulting not because we provide consultancy. It's just that I don't know how it is with Pipe Drive, Pipe Drive Story. Uh, if you don't get consultancy, you might use the program in the wrong manner. Uh, you might even be like on the wrong edition. So then certain features would be missing. You might not really use the uh, yeah. program at its best. And I would probably say on my side, like the best customers, let's give an example. We did uh, some work uh, end last year with a, um, a dental provider in New Zealand with a revenue of about $100 million a year. They were working with Salesforce at the beginning. They had 65 users and they migrated to Zoho. And the project cost was about $20,000. And here that just like, I did yesterday a comparison. They were paying for Salesforce license per year, seventy-four, $100,000 a year. And when they moved to Zoho One, they, they start paying twenty-three, $400,000 a year. So wow. you can see the saving of 50K. So yes. Yeah. yeah. And, and I guess, again, one of the uh, very interesting things is that once you buy uh, 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 a user for, let's say, uh, Salesforce, 
a lot of your money actually goes into the privilege of yourself, you know, supporting Salesforce advertisement of the solution, while Zoho would not put so much efforts in the advertisement and the marketing. Mm. They would use your money in order, you know, to invest, to do research and development and yeah. to add like yeah. more service people. Yeah. Cool. Well, I think on the pipe drive side, I would say like an ideal customer, again, it's very scalable. So if you're a one man shop like me, or if you have, you know, 10, 20, even I've done onboardings up to a hundred people, I think it can, it can work for even large teams as well. Um, the ideal customer, I think it's if you just want something simple and straightforward, that's easy to use that your t you, you, you you really want your team to adopt and use. Um, it's very simple. Pipe drive is great. Like it's, uh, there's not a lot to it. Like it's very easy to learn. And so I think if getting your team adopted and using it is a priority, then yeah, pipe drive is a great tool. Um, if you do want to be a little bit more advanced with it, doing some email, uh, like automation, linking with other tools, you will have to do some integration work, uh, which is definitely possible. Pipedrive has their API. They have a marketplace of apps that you can plug in. So there's lots of extra ways that you can take it to that next level. But <laughs> a bit like Danny, I think that's where like a consultant can really help you in that in that way is, is looking at how you can take it to that next level. Mm -hmm. um, so Danny, thank you for joining me today. Do you have any um, information? Like if people want to get in touch, what's the best way to do that? Or do you have any details of um, like your um, extended trial that people can get with if they mm -hmm. want to sign up to Zoho? I'll, I'll send you a link. Usually Zoho lets people register for 15 days. With my link, they can get 30 days on the Zoho one. So I'll send you a link. Yep. And uh, our website is kiwicrm.co.nz. So if anyone want to get in touch, I'll be happy to assist. Great. And do you work with international clients as well or just New Zealand? I, I have some work with international customers. The original company that I established was in Israel. And we did yep. a lot of translation of Zoho into Hebrew language. So we worked okay. very close with the Zoho development team. So I, we do some work like because the customers at the other side of the world, some customers yeah. have like bases overseas, but most of the customers at the moment are in Zoom. Okay, thank you. Well, yeah, and similar to Danny, I'll put details of my um, promo code down below in the description of this video. And again, it's normally, I think, a 15-day trial, and my, my code will get you to 45 days if you do want to try Pipedrive. So, yeah, one more time, Danny, thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you, Paul, and have a nice day.